painting. Pepper and George are painting today. We need some old newspaper to put on the table. Yes! <coughs> Daddy Pig is reading his newspaper. You can have my newspaper when I've finished reading it. <laughs> All right. Hooray! <laughs> now we can start painting. Silly George. Big children do not put their hands in the paint. <laughs> George loves painting with his hands. <laughs> Peppa loves painting with her hands. <laughs> Very good. Can I have a potato, Mummy Pig? They aren't cooked yet, Daddy Pig. Are you hungry, Daddy? I'm not going to eat it. Watch this. What is Daddy Pig doing? Ooh. Now, who can tell me what this is? A flower! <laughs> <laughs> Clever, Daddy! Oh, oh, oh. I loved painting when I was a young piggy. Now, where are my old painting things? <laughs> Daddy! Why are you wearing that funny hat? Oh, oh, oh. This is my beret. It puts me in the mood for painting pictures. Now, what shall I paint? <laughs> well chosen, George. I'll paint the old cherry tree. What's that? It's an easel, Pepper. It holds my canvas. What's a canvas? It's a bit like paper for very special paintings. Is that toothpaste? Oh, oh no, Pepper. These are special paints for grown-up artists. There. What colour shall we begin with? Red, please. Why red, Pepper? Red is my favourite colour. But first we need to paint the sky. Look, what colour is it? Blue, of course. Very good. Let's start with blue. <laughs> now for the cherry tree. We need green for the leaves. But there isn't any green. Never mind. If we mix blue paint with yellow paint, we can make green. Mixing blue and yellow makes green. Ooh! What lovely green leaves. And here's some grass. What about the branches? We haven't got brown paint. We can make brown. We'll mix the green and the red. Mixing green and red makes brown. Ooh! Daddy Pig paints the tree trunk and the branches. Wow! wow. <laughs> Daddy, can I paint the cherries? Yes, Pepper. Put your finger in the paint and dab it onto the tree. <laughs> One, two, three. Well done. Now it's George's turn. <laughs> <laughs> what a great painter you are, George. <laughs> there, the painting is finished. Hooray! <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. Hello, Mrs. Duck. We're painting a picture. <laughs> the ducks are running through Daddy's paint. Shoo, shoo, naughty ducks. Shoo, ducks, shoo. Stay away from our painting. <laughs> oh, no. The ducks have made paint footprints all over the painting. Oh, dear. What was all that noise? Mummy, the ducks have spoiled our painting. Hmm. Let me see. The ducks are making paint footprints in the garden, just like the ones on the painting. Daddy's painting isn't spoiled, Pepper. It's perfect. Hooray! Oh, yes. I am a bit of an expert at painting. And so are the ducks. <laughs> at the beach. Pepper and her family are going to the beach. Pepper and George love going to the beach. <laughs> what a lot of stuff. We must be careful not to forget anything when we go. <laughs> Sunshade, beach bag, towels, buckets and spades, and a spotty ball. 
Good. Now, before you start playing, you need some sun cream on. The sun is very hot, so Pepper and George have to have sun cream on. Let's try out this spotty ball. It seems to work. <laughs> what a great spotty ball. <laughs> George, you throw the ball and I will catch it. <laughs> George, catch! Oh dear, George is too little to catch the ball. <laughs> Never mind, George. Would you and Pepper like to have a paddle in the sea? Yes, please, Daddy. <laughs> Let's put your water wings on. There we go. You look very smart in your water wings, George. <laughs> my turn, my turn. Good. <laughs> now we can play in the water. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Is the water cold? It's lovely and warm. <laughs> <laughs> Steady <laughs> <Get it> on! <laughs> you started it, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Maybe that's enough splashing. <laughs> Whee! Daddy, I love being at the beach. Pepper and George love the beach. Everyone loves the beach. Pepper, George, would you like to play with your buckets and spades? Yes, please, Mummy. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, can we bury you in the sand? Uh, well... Please, Daddy. Oh, all right. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are burying Daddy Pig in the sand. Steady on! <laughs> <laughs> there. Now you can't escape. <laughs> my head is getting a bit hot. Can I have my straw hat? Well, if you say please. Please, can I have my straw hat? Yes, you may, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Oh, maybe I'll just have a little sleep. <laughs> <laughs> George, let's make sandcastles. Pepper and George are making sandcastles. First we put sand in the buckets, like this. We turn the buckets upside down and tap them. And lift the bucket up. Hey, presto! A sandcastle. Hey, presto! Another sandcastle. Pepper, George, home time! Don't leave any stuff behind. <laughs> Let's check that we haven't forgotten anything. Towels, beach bag, sunshade and the spotty ball. That's everything. I'm sure we've forgotten something. Hmm. <laughs> of course, we forgot the hat. <laughs> Daddy! We forgot Daddy! Oh, yes! We forgot Daddy Pig. Uh, uh, what? Daddy, we almost left you behind. But George remembered you. <laughs> well, I'm glad George remembered me. <laughs> Granny Pig's chickens. Pepper and George are having a sleepover at Granny and Grandpa's house. Granny Pig! Dangy Ig! Hello, my little ones. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye, Mummy. <laughs> Come and see where you're going to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this was Mummy Pig's room when she was a little piggy. In olden times. And this is the bed Mummy slept on. Ooh, bouncy bed. <laughs> You're just like your mummy when she was little. Did mummy bounce?
bounce on the bed. Of course. But Mummy tells us not to bounce on the bed. <laughs> when Mummy was a little piggy, she was cheeky, just like you. Was she? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's go and see Grandpa Pig in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Come and see my carrots. Grandpa Pig is very proud of his vegetables. Ooh. And here are my peas. Oh. But best of all are my lettuces. Oh, no! My lettuces! I think the birds have eaten them, Grandpa. Yes. Birds. Why didn't Mr. Scarecrow scare them away? Because the birds that ate my lettuces are very stupid. What's the matter, Grandpa Pig? Your friends have been eating my vegetables again. Which friends? Tom, Dick and Harry. <coughs> Those aren't their names. Granny Pig has chickens. <coughs> wow! Say hello to Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Hello. <laughs> and here is Neville. <coughs> is Neville a boy chicken? Yes, Peppa. He's a cockerel. He's the worst. Scratching up my vegetables. Neville wouldn't hurt a fly. I've seen him eat flies. <coughs> and he ate my lettuce. You don't want to eat Grandpa's lettuce, do you? <coughs> Not when there's lovely corn to eat. <coughs> Come on, this way home. <coughs> Peppa, George, would you like to feed corn to the chickens? Yes, please, Granny. <coughs> Here you are, chickens. Eat up. <coughs> Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh! It is bedtime for Pepper and George at Granny and Grandpa's house. <laughs> <laughs> Have the chickens laid their eggs yet, Granny? Maybe in the morning, Pepper. How will we know when it's morning? Neville will tell us. Now, go to sleep. Night, night. It is morning. It's Neville! <laughs> Thank you for waking us up, Neville. <laughs> Good morning, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Do you have any eggs for us? One, two, three, four. Four eggs, Granny. Now we'll have eggs for breakfast. Thank you, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Boiled eggs for everyone. Hooray! Mmm, delicious. <coughs> Granny, your chickens make yummy eggs. Eggs. Yes! It's all that lovely corn they eat. And my lettuces. <laughs> <laughs> Basketball! It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and her friends are in the school playground. <laughs> Children. Today, we have a special person coming to teach you basketball. Ooh! Hello! Daddy! It isn't home time yet. We've got a special teacher coming today. That's me. I'm the coach. A basketball teacher is called a coach. Ooh! That's clever, Daddy. Pepper, call me coach. OK, Daddy Coach. Does anyone know how to play basketball? No. It's fun. You have to run, bounce the ball and throw it through the hoop. Wow! Easy peasy. Oh. It is not as easy as it looks. To play basketball, you need to train hard and keep fit. Are you fit, Daddy Coach? Yes. 
I'm super fit. But, Daddy Coach, you've got a big tummy. This tummy is pure muscle. <laughs> First, I'll teach you how to get the ball from here to here. I can do that. No, Danny. You can't use your feet. That's football. Danny Dog likes football. In basketball, you bounce the ball with your hands, like this. Who wants a go? Me, me, me! Susie Sheep is bouncing the basketball very carefully. Well done, Susie. Now everyone try. Everyone is learning how to bounce the ball. <laughs> now I'll teach you tackling. What's tackling? Tackling? Tackling is trying to get the ball from another player, like this. Try and get the ball from me, George. <laughs> George is very good at tackling. Now throw the ball through the hoop. <laughs> you need just a bit more training there, George. <laughs> Let's have a little practice game. Split into two teams. <laughs> Boys against girls. <laughs> the girls are in one team, the boys are in the other. That's not fair. We've got little ones on our team. Don't worry, the boys' team will still win. Yeah, we're a super team. <whistles> ah. Emily Elephant is very good at reaching high with her trunk. Emily's using her trunk. It's not... Shush, Peppa. She's on our side. Oh, yes, that is fair. <coughs> it's not fair. We want Emily on our team. No, she's in our team. Stop arguing. You can all be in the same team. OK. <laughs> the children are all in one big team. Oh, but who will we play? Um, well... Hello. Hello. <coughs> The parents have come to take the children home. I know. You can play the grown-ups. But they are bigger than us. Ah, but you've been taught basketball by Daddy Coach. Yes. Let's play them. We're the children's team. Yay! We're the grown-ups team. All right! I'm quite good at cricket. Yes. Well, this is basketball. You throw the ball through the hoop. But you can only use your hands. Or your trunk. But not your feet. Ready, steady, go! Mr Elephant has the ball. Tackled by George. Pass to Zoe Zebra. To Richard Rabbit. And Pepper throws it through the hoop. Yippee! The children have won. To Daddy Coach. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Alexander. Pepper and George's cousins are coming to visit today. Mummy, how long before Cousin Chloe is here? Not long now, Pepper. Baby Alexander is coming too, remember? Oh, babies cry all the time. They're so noisy. I'm sure baby Alexander won't be that noisy. <coughs> What's that sound? Is it a car alarm? Is it a fire engine? No, it's baby Alexander. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Hello, Auntie Pig. You remember baby Alexander, don't you, Peppa? Yeah. <laughs> Are you staying for a few days? No, this is what Alexander needs for just one day. Can't go anywhere without all these baby things. Oh. Hello, baby Alexander. He can't talk, Peppa. If he can't talk, then how do you know what he wants? We guess. <coughs> I'm guessing he's hungry. Peppa, would you like to help feed Alexander? Yes, please. It is lunchtime for baby Alexander. Cousin Peppa, 
is going to feed you today, Alexander. Here you are, baby. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Oh, he keeps turning his head. Yeah. Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh! <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Pepper. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> Open your mouth and in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you, he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Pepper, do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Pepper's first word was daddy. No, mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander is having a bath. <laughs> this is Mr Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Pepper. <laughs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. That's a clever little buggy. Yes, five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Alexander likes it when you talk, Pepper. That's because I am very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sky. Can you say sky? Go, go. The sky is where rain comes from. Can you say rain? <laughs> rain is good for ducks and plants and making muddy puddles. Pepper has found a big <laughs> muddy puddle. Look, Alexander. I'm jumping up and down in a puddle. <laughs> I love jumping up and down in puddles. Puddles. Ooh. Alexander has said his first word. Puddles. Hooray! Puddles. And I taught him to say it. Puddles. <laughs> George's racing car. It is a lovely sunny day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Peppa, George, Daddy and Grandpa are inside watching racing cars on television. <coughs> Come on, car number two. It's neck and neck coming up to the finish. <coughs> what a lot of noise. This is so exciting. Car number two is a must. Ah, that's better. The race was almost finished. <coughs> Switch it back on. Wow, that was an exciting end to a race. I'm so glad I didn't miss the finish. See, it's finished. It's such a lovely day. You should all go outside and play. Yes, Granny Pig. <coughs> so, what are we going to play? George wants to play racing cars. I know. Let's build George a racing car. <laughs> Can you really make a racing car, Daddy? No, but Grandpa Pig can. What? Uh, OK, I'll make a racing car for George. <laughs> this is Grandpa Pig's shed where he makes things. What have we got here? Ah, an old pram. No, George isn't a baby, Grandpa. We only need the pram's wheels, Peppa. This bit can be the bonnet. And this can be the seats. What's your favourite number, George? George's favourite number is two. Oh, this racing car will be super fast. Hooray! Don't make it go too fast, Grandpa. 
George is only little. Don't worry, Peppa. This will be a pedal car, not a motor car. Ah. Next, we need a steering wheel. Last of all, you need racing goggles and a hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's George's racing car! <laughs> Here are Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Look at George's racing car. <laughs> wow! I'll race you. And me. And me. I want to race too. Where's your racing car, Peppa? I don't have a racing car. Don't worry, Peppa. You can be the chief mechanic. What does that do? You fix George's car if it goes wrong. Oh, goody. <laughs> I hope it goes wrong a lot. <laughs> Let's start the race. Three times round the garden. Ready? Steady? Off. Meow. Come on, George. That's the end of lap one, and George is in the lead. What's all this noise out here? I'm trying to watch television. We're having a race, Granny. That's the end of lap two, and George is still in the lead. <laughs> oh dear, a wheel has come off George's car. Where's the chief mechanic? Here I am. What do we do? Put the wheel back on. OK, okay chief mechanic. mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. Go, George, go! Oh, dear. George is now at the back of the race. Pedal faster, George! Come, Come on, George! George. The winner! Hooray! Well done, George. You're the best racing driver in the whole world. <laughs> and you've got the best chief mechanic in the whole world, too. Yes, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper's Circus. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and her friends are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. What's that? Grandpa Pig is putting up a big stripy tent in his garden. It's the circus! Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa, can we see the circus? Circus, Pepper? There's no circus here. Why have you got a big stripy tent then? This is for Granny Pig's garden party. Oh. What's a garden party? It's where grown-ups stand around talking. What a waste of a good tent. A circus would be more exciting. Why don't you make your own circus? Yes! We can call it Pepper's Circus. Have you finished putting up the tent, Grandpa? The guests will be here soon. Granny! We're doing a circus for your garden party. What a splendid idea. Can we dress up? Of course. I'll get the dressing up box. We can be clowns. And strong men. And jugglers. My daddy was in the circus. <coughs> wow. What did he do? He sold tickets. Here. You can all find something to wear in the dressing up box. <laughs> Pepper has found a top hat. Danny Dog has found some spotty trunks and a stick-on moustache. <laughs> Pedro has found a clown outfit. Who wants makeup? Me, please. What does everyone want to be? I want to be the clown. But Pepper, where is your clown costume? Okay, you be the clown. I want to be the strong man. OK, Danny, you be the strong man. I want to be the juggler. But I wanted to do that. Wow! OK, you be the juggler. Grandpa, 
I don't have a job to do. You can be the ringmaster, Peppa. You've got the hat for it. What's a ringmaster? The ringmaster is the boss. Yes, I'll be the ringmaster. <laughs> What do I do? You say, welcome to my circus. See the impossible, the amazing, the incredible feats of daring do. Ooh. Uh, welcome to my circus. It's got amazing feet. <laughs> <laughs> Moo! Granny Pig's garden party guests are here. Hello, everyone. You're in for a treat. The circus has come to town. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my circus. Now, please be very scared of the amazing candy cat. <laughs> Richard and Edmund on Tricycle! <laughs> Don't stop clapping, it's the strong Danny dog. <laughs> I was a strong man once. I used to lift tractors. <sighs> See, Emily Elephant juggle potatoes and an egg. <laughs> Oh. Now laugh a lot at Pedro Pony. He's a clown. <laughs> Stop laughing. I haven't done the funny bit yet. Ah, that was the funny bit. <laughs> That's what I call funny. Thank you. That is the end of my amazingly impossible circus. Hooray! That is the best circus I have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs>